Hello folks and welcome back to Relaxing Woodshop. My name's David. My name's Christopher. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah, it's a bit cold. It's very, very cold. Snowy outside. It is a snowy outside, it is indeed. So guys, uh, we want to thank everybody for our wee Q&A last week because you've asked, asked the questions. We answered them. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it was, it was really good and we really got to uh, get some information out there. But this is the important one. What do we do? The rocking horse. We're going to do the rocking horse. Now, the rocking horse, as we said from the start, this is going to be quite unique because we're going to make it out of... Uh, recycled wood. Recycled wood. Actual kitchen tops. Solid kitchen tops. So what we need to do is first go through all the bits and bobs with yourselves and then we're going to then lay out the design off it that we've already uh, drawn uh, and engrave that into the wood and then we're going to then cut it and then step by step we're going to go through it together because this is all new to us as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to say? No. Well, what, what, what marks the, the drawing up now? Oh, well, um, yes, I had to do a couple more. I have to do a couple more designs. So this is the upper part of the body. Now I'm not an artist, okay? But this is the upper part of the body. So it is, uh, that's the lower part. And then this is the upper part. So what the plan is to cut out the upper part, okay? Um, um, as, and then if you see the line up there, we're not cutting this bit. This is just for the legs, but I needed to know where the legs will match. So we'll cut out this, then we'll cut out the legs separately. And every time we cut them out, we're gonna put a wee two dimples where the, the, the rods, the wooden dowels, will go through to support the legs and then we'll get on then to the bottom bit. So as you can see, yeah, I was just kind of doodling on a, on a few occasions to try and get it to where I wanted it to be. I think it's a wee bit fat around here, but sure, what odds has been out in the fields and enjoying its life. So, let's get stuck in there. So, we're on to the ingredients list for this week. Don't think we've actually done an ingredients list for a couple of weeks now. But um, we've got a reclaimed uh, work tabletop, and that's going to be making the main body off it. We're actually going to be using four of these to be making the main body, and then uh, probably one more for the legs. Um, we have our drawings, which is probably the best place to have started. Um, then we have our wood glue, we're going to be using a lot of that. We have our jigsaw, um, to obviously cut out the shape and stuff. Have our little saw blades that we're probably going to use a lot of them for. We're going to use a dry marker for around the drawing to get the, the shape onto the wood and then we have our thick dial which is going to be used to insert in to connect the different pieces and then we're going to use the thinner dial just to make sure that the legs line up with each other and also just to give that bit of extra support so let's get cracking right guys so uh, you probably see more of the shop side of the side of the shop than what we normally do because what we plan to do is ignore the floor we will be repainting the floor, doing a lot of the, the projects and work over the months has damaged my floor when I painted it, so ignore that. But what we have bought, we have bought, are these called horse? What are these called? Yeah, horses. Horses. So we bought horses to make our horse, and these are really handy because you do that, and that's it locked in place. And then we do this, and that's it locked in place, and it says these hold 365 kilos. Or the way to Christopher. Now, so we set these down, and then what we'll do is I'll go over here and get the wood and bring it over. Now, I probably could have asked uh, Christopher for his help on this one because these are really heavy, but it should be okay. So we'll bring it back over. Let's get underneath, lift it up, and then with my red face onto the top. So by buying these, it has expanded the shop size significantly by giving me like a, a good work table. Because even though I've got work tables, they're kind of pushed to the side to give centre room. So what we're going to do now is we'll get the drawing, set it down, and we'll find a nicer piece to the woodwork, and then we'll, we'll, we'll mark that area. What we're going to do is we're going to cut four of these, but I'll go into in a bit more detail as to what way. So let's get on to the cutting and enough of the horsing around. Okay guys, so now we have the sheet sitting out. So what we will do is we will cut round the layout of the sheet. What we're gonna do, just to explain a wee bit more into the design. This here is gonna be the saddle built into the wood. In case you're wondering what does, why does a horse have a, a, a fin like a shark? It's actually part of the wee seat that we're gonna incorporate into it. We're gonna do two of these blanks with 
ears and then we're going to go two of the blanks with fight ears because these two will be the outer edge and then the other two with fight the ears will be the inner parts so the sandwiches of the outer parts will have ears and the other parts won't so you don't have one big long ear you actually have a split in two so we're going to cut this out and then we're going to trace it onto the wood and then start cutting Okay, folks, so we have now cut out the shape of the rocking horse. Remember, this is a child's rocking horse. It's not going to be anything too big, uh, and it's our first go. So what we're going to put in an area which we think is the nicest part of the wood, because even though wood's natural and you're going to get marks on it, some of the wood over here, as you can see, uh, is very lumpy, and there's a big curve here, so we don't want that because we're going to be gluing them together. So we'll find a nice smooth spot here without any screws or marks there. So we're going to go for just there. So tack it down just in a couple of these spots, just so it doesn't run away from us. Do you get it? Run away? No? Okay. And then what we'll do from there is just press on it and we'll run a line round the horse. Or what will be the horse and excuse Christopher if I'm in your line of camera work and we'll take a bit of ticky off run on and then we'll come around here straighten this out doesn't have to be perfectly accurate remember guys and the reason being for this is um, we're going to be cutting then we're going to be sanding and then we're going to be shaping even further so this is just to get a basic outline what will happen once you get all four of them done you then glue them together okay and then once they're glued together that's when we get to work in terms of trying to put all their shapes uh, in the same in the same place so we'll just bring this up right here. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Come around there. And I go around this side, Christopher, sorry. And then we'll bring it up here. Back on round. And then this is a this is a wee bit more integrate bit here. So we'll get up round. Come up in. Keep that neck nice and thin there. Horse's face. No comment, Christopher. On round. Now, as you probably notice, there are teeth where the outline is. I'm leaving that for now because I'll want to do that all together. Okay. And at this point here, if we take this away, that is our outline for us to cut out. But before we cut it out, here's the important bit, guys. So with your other piece, what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up these bits and tap a wee nail through each one of them on this. So when we cut this out, we know exactly where the holes uh, will be for supporting the legs. Okay, folks, so now we've got the new um, teeth bit a teeth bit seriously a teeth bit so now that we've got the wee saw blade into the the black and decker palm uh, cutter what we'll do is we'll cut out through this now we're going to do this in a time lapse the reason i'm talking now before the time lapse is we have a serious problem at the moment with rights of music to put it on the film against itunes or whatever else so we're just not bothering up so we'll cut this out on the time lapse and then we'll get on to the next section of giving it a sand
Well, folks, that is all we have time for this week. But as you can see, it is looking fantastic. So, what? Boy, you idiot. Take them off. You have no idea what goes on in the background, never mind what you see in front, so you know. So, as you can see, it is lovely. Now, unlike a lot of the ones that you see on the other videos and all, which are beautiful, this is a solid lump. Now, Chris and I have been looking once we got this cut off set, and we think we're only going to do three thick. Yeah, three thick. Because with the size of the horse and the width, it, 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 would, it, would, it would look more like a cow. It would look like a chungus. A ch what's a chungus? Oh, Matthew's cat. Oh, okay. His friend's cat. Not really that weird. <laughs> is it? Yeah. So, beautiful. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do two more of them on the next show. And then we'll get into then doing the legs. And then after the legs, we'll get into doing the... What's it called? The rocking element of it. Yeah, the rocky bit. And then the hard part, because this if we think this is the hard part. Oh, no. The hard part will then be shaping this. Now, we bought some new tools to help shape this and a couple of new Japanese rasps. Oh, nice. Yes, yes. So guys, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for watching this week. And... Yeah, yeah just remember the likes and subscribes, guys. Just keep them coming in. Yes. Yeah. I'm starting to think myself that this, I think if we were making this for you when you were a child, by the age of three, you probably would have grown oh, out of that. Yeah, yeah. Guys, be safe and we'll see you next week. Cheerio.